So next let's do um, one slight refactoring. So if you come to the routes.php file here, you will see that we are passing in a closure as the seven, second argument to um, this get um, function here. But um, that's not really a nice way of keeping things nice, nice and clean. So instead of passing it here, let's just remove that. Okay. So let's um, pass in a controller action. So let's say files controller and then add upload. So basically that will call an upload action on the files controller. So let's go to our files controller and right at the end here, let's create a function and then we're going to name it upload. Okay. And the upload will not um, receive any arguments since it's just used to show a view file. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with what um, we previously did in the routes.php file. But I just wanted to show you that you can do that if you want to get things quickly up and running. But um, for best practices, it's best to do everything into um, your files controller because as this route file gets big, you don't want it littered with um, all sorts of um, closure functions and all that. So you want to keep it nice and clean. Okay. So it's just a good practice, but it's not necessary. All right. So we come back to the upload um, action here. So all we need to do is return um, view. And the view we want to return lives in the files um, folder and then inside of the upload file. So files.upload. So next, let's go ahead and actually show these validation rules in the case that they failed. So go to your upload.blade.php, which um, if you remember lives in resources and um, views and files and then upload.php. So we're going to display the errors at the top here. So we do want to do one check. We want to say at if count of errors is more than one. So just do count. And um, anytime an error occurs after a validation, there is this um, error variable which is available here and its um, length is more than one. So errors. If the count of errors is more than one, let's do an end if here. We want to loop over each of the errors and output it. So at for each errors. And there's a method on that object called all, which actually returns you the errors. So as error. And then let's do an end for each here. Okay, so inside of there, we want to output li tag for each error. So um, let's just do two curly braces like this, uh, open and close, and just put in error there. Okay, so let's surround all of this with uh, inside of a ul tag. Okay, so I'll come down here. And um, for slash li. Or I could just move that up here. Move this down here. So I just shouldn't be an li, it should be a ul. So basically, this um, code here would not run if the count of errors is not um, more than zero. Okay. So let's save this and go back to our application. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to submit this without um, giving any file here and see where, whether we have an error. So I'm going to upload and um, it says token mismatch exception. Okay. So I'll go back here and I'll refresh that. And basically the token has expired uh, because we've been waiting around for so long. So I'll just upload that. And we've been taken back to this file here. So it seems that validation is passing even though we're not submitting any file. Okay. So let's go back to our files controller. So I'll open that up and um, okay. So it seems that we're doing a check here if um, has file. So let's remove that and see because we want um, the validation to run. So if we do a check here without submitting a file, that means this validation here will not run. So let's save that and um, let's come over here. Now let's upload. So it says the file field is required. So now we have submitted this without um, putting in any file. It says the file field is required. So next let's try to select a file which is not in the list of um, allowed file types. So let's go to um, the a folder and create one file there. So if you notice, um, let's go back to app.php here for a moment. So only if picture files are allowed and a PDF file. So any file which is not in um, any of those will, will not be um, allowed to be uploaded. Okay. So let's go back here to our um, f folder here. Let's create one file there. Um, so I'll just create a file quickly. I'll just create one. So I'll say new here and save it. Um, I'll just say this is a text file. I'll save it and go to my desktop. And um, I'll just say file upload. 
and uh, we'll just save that as text file.txt save that now when i go back here to um my browser and let's select that file so we'll go to desktop um file upload and i'll just select that text file open and now when i um, upload this because text um a txt file is not in the allowed extensions list it should give us an error so it says the file must be um of type any of these okay so let's um now select a file which is allowed to be uploaded so let's um select this screenshot file here again and um let's upload that let's go back to our text editor here and look in the resources folder so let's view the uploads um folder here so upload and probably that isn't um uploaded so let me just delete this um okay so that's a protected folder that's why it's asking me to um enter my password okay let's try that once more go back to our browser select that image file and um i'll select this upload so let's go back to our editor here so uploads and um as you can see it has uploaded that image successfully okay so let me find an image which is um bigger than um two megabytes and try to upload that so this image here as you can see is um of size 1.2 so let me delete that once again and um we'll go to our config here and app.php and we'll change this from two megabytes to one megabyte if you remember um multiples of thousands are a megabyte each so now it shouldn't allow us to upload that image because it is more than one megabyte so i'm going to select the image and open it and upload and we should get an error the file may not be greater than thousand kilobytes so a thousand kilobytes is equal to one megabyte okay so um that's it guys for um this tutorial video um uh, if you enjoyed this and you gained a lot from it please do subscribe and comment and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye